Have you ever been riding along on the highway, minding your own business, either going or coming from a trip, and a bike or a group of bikes rolls up on you and then does this? What does it mean? Well, for one, he's trying to get my attention so that he can pass my group up. So the age old question is, should you have to ask for permission to pass a group of bikers up? Now, before we get into it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash that bell notification so you don't miss anything from the channel. Now, we all know that no one owns the highways, but should there be courtesy involved when passing another group? So, here is a time where I was coming back from North Carolina and a group of bikers was coming up really quickly behind me. So I signaled for the group that I was riding with to get ahead of me because I really wanted to see who they were. So the leader of the group got my attention and we pointed at each other and acknowledged each other. Um, there was a little bit of traffic on the way so they fell back and then got behind us. But as soon as traffic uh, broke loose, the leader came up on side of me and then signaled if it was okay for their group to pass. And of course, I just said, yeah, go ahead. And you can see they didn't hang around and just linger on on side. They politely went ahead and got ahead of our group. And I know it's gonna be a lot of people out there that's gonna say, I don't need to ask anybody for permission. You don't own the roads. Nobody owns the roads. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And that's all fine and dandy. But the main reason why we acknowledge people on the highway is for safety. And in this case, we were doing a memorial ride for one of our fallen brothers and we had a large amount of motorcycles on the highway. If there are some bikers that's coming up really fast or just coming up on the side of us really quickly, we don't want them to lose control or to potentially injure us in any manner. So we could have been getting ready to get off in an exit or two. And so holding that person or that group back would allow our group to exit in a safe manner. Now usually motorcycle clubs that spend a lot of time on the road are very cautious and exercise great caution and safety to protect its members. So what do you do once you get the green light to go ahead and pass? That's exactly what you do. Go ahead and pass. You don't want to linger along too much on the side of their group. You want to go ahead and get past that group and get in front of them and go on with the rest of your trip. So generally when you start passing them up, you want to acknowledge them. You want to give them a wave, a head nod, the, the biker salute with the two fingers. It's all about showing respect and courtesy to each other on the road. So do you ask for permission or acknowledge another biker or group of bikers while you're on the road? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't, check out my other videos on the channel. And this is your man GQ, the leader of the peace. So I'm telling you guys to be safe, be cool, and most importantly, be you and peace out until we meet again.